Yesterday I uh, made a video on how to install Mac OS X Mavericks with from uh, or within VirtualBox, and uh, today I'm actually going to do a video on um, using Yosemite. But um, the reality is that uh, you know um, if uh, you you're, you want to try out different versions of Mac OS, the only thing you really need to do is actually find a, a copy of an ISO um, that actually works with VirtualBox because even though many may work, you know, with Apple hardware, they don't all work, you know, the same in, in VirtualBox. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up a quick or do a quick setup here and hopefully be able to pause um, while the install is going on, but essentially, uh, so I'm going to call this Yoast because, you know, um, we can change that later, and I'm just going to choose uh, slightly more memory of four, 4 megabytes versus uh, 2, and then I'm going to create and choose create, leaving everything as default. Um, I'm going to do go into the settings for that because there's... Some things that uh, need to be changed, and not much, but um, obviously we don't. We take the floppy out because uh, uh, Macs don't have floppies. Even computer systems usually don't. But anyway, um, uncheck floppy, and then we can up the processor to two or four or if you want to. Um, we'll go under display. You can change that to uh, be a little bit more, even though I don't know that it actually makes any difference. Um, but you can always play for, play with it um, after the install is done. Um, the same goes with the enable 3D acceleration. I'm not sure that it makes any difference. Um, I'm going to go into the, uh, the ISO settings and, and um, I'm going to use this one because I just labeled it as a Yosemite working ISO because I know it works and, and the other ones that I actually tried did not work. The actual um, uh, copy that I actually used was made on my computer um, uh, using a Mac OS Catalina using a script that uh, converted uh, uh, the installer for Yosemite into an ISO in C Catalina. And I couldn't make it work in Mavericks after I got the, you know, the setup done. But um, going on, uh, I guess I, I mentioned the... Um, the script files that I actually uh, had yesterday and included it with the uh, Mavericks installation. The only thing I actually really added to the the whole setup was this 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 last line, um, which allows the system to support you know resolutions uh, bigger than um, one thousand twenty four by seven sixty eight, which is the default, without any configuration. Um, and uh, I would just not, you know, I would just leave this out of the script if you don't know uh, if, if your uh, resolution is actually supported by Mac OS and VirtualBox because otherwise it might not boot and you just have to start over again. Um, just do some checking around, you know, to make sure that your resolution will actually work um, before making those changes. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and make those changes. I'm like I say I'm a Linux user so um, I'm just gonna run the, the copy that's actually for Yosemite um, to make those changes including the video, video resolution change and then I'll just go back into VirtualBox and double click on the Yosemite that's you know just been modified. You can see that it just loads to full screen mode from the start um, I can click on full screen mode here. And then obviously, you know, it looks more or less just like if you were running it on, you know, Apple hardware. Except you have your little um, configuration box down at the bottom in full screen mode. So you can actually make changes or do like I'm going to do now and just switch it back to scaled mode. So obviously in scaled mode, it, it does shrink it down to like 1024 by... 768 again. So, um, as this is loading, um, like I uh, may have already mentioned, um, 
to install the majority of versions of Mac OS within VirtualBox, you really only need to have uh, a valid working copy of Mac OS ISO and you need to make those changes that, you know, with that script to make uh, that, that copy of VirtualBox look like um, it has hardware similar to what an Apple computer would have. And so, um, but that's really it. You know, once you have those two things done, um, you should be able to install most versions of Mac OS within uh, VirtualBox. Um, the only one that actually I've had real difficulty with is obviously the newest version of Ventura because um, I, I, it doesn't even really run right, you know, or the version that I was trying to install in VirtualBox didn't even run right, you know, so that uh, it wouldn't get to this point um, when I did it. So um, what I'm going to do is just go through and uh, do the setup process here, um, and I may end the video before the you know, um, the installation is done, but, um, so I'm just going to choose continue here and, um, just before I get to the, you know, the, the final screen before the install starts, I'm just going to erase the hard disk. Change the name. You can use whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. It's just the name of a disk. Choose erase. Um, normally, if you obviously if you get you know to this point in the uh, install process, it usually doesn't inf it doesn't fail before you get to the you know the the, um, the main screen. Um, it usually just goes through the process and then you can run setup after it reboots. Um, so I'm just, I selected the disk and I'm going to just start the install. So um, I'm probably going to end this video before, you know, just after I make sure that you understand that um, the two things that are really uh, required are, uh, you know, a good working copy of um, you know, the version of Mac OS that you want to install. And then the other one is you actually have to make those changes um, from within the copy of virtual box that you're going to install is that, uh, you know, Mac OS in. So once you actually have those two things um, covered, you know, everything else should actually, uh, you know, work fine. And the, um, like I say, I think that it might be the newest and um, towards the end, uh, Snow Leopard, I actually didn't. I installed it, but I actually used the hack, which, you know, loaded ISOs to, you know, set up the uh, environment so that, you know, um, Snow Leopard would actually boot. But uh, I haven't tried it yet by just, you know, making the changes to the... Uh, the copy of VirtualBox to um, support um, Snow Leopard, but you know maybe it'll work, or maybe it won't. I just know that I didn't do it, you know, by this method. And it's like I said, it's one of the oldest, um, one of the older, you know, not necessarily the oldest version, but older versions of Mac OS, you know, while they were still developing, you know. Uh, for the Intel platform. I think, you know, most of the stuff would be outside of Puma is, um, was then um, developed to work on uh, PowerPC, I believe, hardware. And so, you know, it was not on the Intel. And I'm not sure if I can even make PowerPC work on a, you know, virtual machine, like virtual box, but maybe it will work on like QEMU or something like that. But um, I guess I, you know, I'm just going to end this video and, you know, um, because, uh, like I just mentioned that, you know, there's only a few things that you actually really need to have covered to make, you know, an install of Mac OS on VirtualBox work. And, um, if, as long as those are, you know, um, 
taken care of, you know, it should all work. And um, I just thank you for, uh, you know, watching this video and hopefully uh, see you again.